The latest employment data paints a troubling picture. What does this mean for your job security in the overall economy? Good evening, folks, and welcome back to another episode of Silver Dad Knows. Remember, always live with no edits. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button now as you're going to like what I'm about to say. So yes, check it out right here. Absolutely adore these American Eagles. Right here in particular, I am showing a 2019 American Eagle. American Eagles are amongst the most attractive and distinguished pieces minted by the United States. Its Walking Liberty design is based on the classic 1916 uh, half dollar. This is the only silver coin guaranteed by the United States government for its weight, content, and purity. So for all those who uh, really want to get uh, the best of the best, look no further. American Eagles are where it's at, and you know you're going to be getting your hands on just something that is going to be guaranteed. We notice Walking Liberty wearing a robe that is gently blowing up in the wind. Um, the American flag is draped around her shoulders and both of her arms are occupied. One is holding a bundle of branches and the other is invitingly open and outstretched. Um, the rising sun is slowly coming up to offer the hope of a new day stamped with the words liberty and in God we trust. <clears throat> then you go to the reverse, bearing the official coat of arms for the United States of America. Both of the eagle's talons are clenching an object. The left is uh, holding olive branches to represent peace and the other is uh, holding arrows to represent the warrior within. This eagle is not to be reckoned with. America is not to be reckoned with. At least that was uh, that was the point back then. You know, they wanted to give off that image. And I want to believe, to many extents, the United States Army, America itself, the nation of America, still wants to give off a similar image. Do not reckon with us. At least we should be giving off such an aura. And real quick, folks, before I continue, I want to give a quick shout out. And this is to one of my loyal subscribers. This is to Bradley Osbun 1012. And this is a comment from the other night. God be with us all. We need to get back to building and making American products again, even if it costs a little more money. I would rather suffer now and start uh, building the structure we need uh, down the road. Thanks, Silver Dad Knows. So, yes, I mean, people don't understand, you know, good times make weak men. Weak men make hard times. Hard times make great men. Great men make good times. And the cycle just goes on and on and on and on. I look around and it's like, we ask ourselves, why are people so fat nowadays? Why are people so weak? Why are people so sensitive? Why? Because everybody's life is tremendously easy. And when I say tremendously easy, nobody has to hunt for their food. Uh, nobody has to go out and put themselves out really in the public. They can just uh, post pictures of themselves online and hit up the opposite sex online without actually getting in front of them, putting themselves out there physically, not socially, not digitally, physically in the flesh People are no longer being challenged. And it is really, truly showing the societal erosion within how we communicate, the very fabric of how human beings communicate. And to make matters worse, the United States just hit a new record of 35 trillion in national debt. And we're on track to hit 36 trillion much sooner than you probably think. Every single day, 
we spend $2.5 billion on interest expenses alone. That's money that isn't going to things like free school lunches for children and other important causes. By the way, 10-year baseline projections now show that debt held by the public will exceed $50 trillion by 2034, less than a decade. At this rate, I would assume it will happen much sooner, which means it will swallow the entire U.S. economy's output. The most recent employment uh, data shows that the labor market is in big trouble. We're just at the beginning, and I don't think we've even opened Pandora's box yet. A bad labor report, including an increase in unemployment, is definitely a red, a red flag. Perhaps this is why Senator Elizabeth Warren recently said that the Fed Chair Jerome Powell needs to cancel his summer vacation and come back to cut interest rates ASAP. The Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that the unemployment rate is uh, ticking up slowly but surely. Unemployment remains below its 2023 levels. The BLS says the unemployment rate rose to 4.3% in July and the number of unemployed people increased. Prior month data has been revised down, indicating that the U.S. economy has slowed down much more than originally forecasted. Unemployment numbers are tremendously disappointing. There was an increase of just 114,000 jobs, nearly 50% below the monthly average. In reality, all net jobs gains month over month as of July have been part-time employment. The U.S. economy lost over 1 million full-time jobs as of July. The composition of the labor market has shifted dramatically. Native-born Americans have lost 1.2 million jobs, while employment of those born outside the U.S. has increased by 1.3 million jobs. Bloomberg recently reported that Goldman Sachs is increasing the chances of the U.S., going into recession from 15% to 25%. We know that arguably we are already in a recession and have been for quite some time. The next step is a depression. Warren Buffett's recent moves um, is also noteworthy. Buffett knows what's going on and his cash pile is unprecedented. Berkshire Hathaway sold $75.5 billion worth of Apple stock increasing its liquidity and is now sitting on $290 billion in cash. This is a flashing red signal that any expectation of stability or positive upside in the near future is naive. Given all these factors, it's clear that the economic outlook is bleak. This is precisely why silver is especially important to buy right now. With the national debt skyrocketing, Employment uh, struggling and recession fears mounting silver offers a stable and reliable investment. It's a safe haven in times of economic uncertainty. And securing your financial future with silver is a very, very wise move. And that's why I continue to do so. Without further ado, let me present to you a 1921 Silver Morgan. These 1921 American Silver Morgan dollars hold a special place in American uh, numismatic history. It marks the final year of the Morgan Silver Dollar uh, series, which began in 1878 and was temporarily halted in 1904 due to the Pittman Act of 1918, which required the melting of millions of Morgan dollars to uh, replenish the nation's silver reserves. So a limited number of 1921 Morgan dollars were minted. These circulated Morgan dollars serve as a nostalgic reminder of the past and are cherished by collectors and enthusiasts uh, alike for their historical significance and charm. The design of the 1921 Silver Morgan follows the classic style of its predecessors, the verse features a left-facing portrait of Lady Liberty adorned with a cap and wreath representing freedom and victory 
Um, encircling her are 13 stars symbolizing the original 13 colonies of the United States. But yes, folks, as always, thank you so much for joining us for another evening of Silver Dad Knows. God bless you. God bless your household. And as always, God bless America.